Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. On today's how-to series, I'm gonna show you how to take your standard shark fin antenna and replace it with the rear view camera mirror setup. Come with me, I'll show you the tools that we need and I'll show you the steps that it takes to get it swapped out. Here we are at the tool bench, and the first thing we need is the Gen 5 DIY rear view camera mirror kit. Kit comes with the shark fin, the new shark fin with the camera built in. Not sure if that'll pick up there. Um, the kit comes with a black one. You can have yours painted body color or vinyl wrapped or whatever you choose to do. Uh, it also comes with the display mirror itself. I'll set that there. Uh, a different cap cover for the rear because it is different than the one that comes on the car without the camera mirror. It also comes with the video cable and the wiring harness to tee into uh, the signal source and power. Uh, and then of course, you're gonna need some tools. So you'll want a T15 Torx screw or bit or screwdriver or whatever you may have. You're going to need some panel removal tools. Uh, this will help get the headliner down and tuck in some of the wires that we need to tuck in. Uh, ratcheting wrench helps. And then seven mil, 10 mil socket. And you may or may not need a three inch ratchet depending on the socket setup that you have. Uh, and then I'm gonna use some uh, battery powered assistance as well outside of just your standard ratcheting wrench. Other than that, that's all you need. So let's jump over to the car and we'll get started with the first steps. First thing that we're gonna want to do here is actually get access into the trunk. Uh, it's going to be easiest to fold down the seat and lay in the trunk, whether you're getting in there from the uh, front of the car or if you're climbing in from the trunk, you're gonna wanna lay this down because we're going to need to undo the side panels at the rear windows. Now, once we're in the car, we are focusing on the seat belt areas. And what I mean by that is the panel where the front seat belt comes into play and then the panel where the rear seat belt comes into play. Now, the first step you'll want to do is just pop this cover off by putting a few fingers in there and just kind of pulling it towards you. That'll slide down. Then there is this uh, cover tab that says airbag. You'll want to pop that off. Set that aside, you don't wanna lose that. Then there's a seven millimeter bolt in there. Loosen that sound of a millimeter bolt. And then this panel will pop off. and also slide out of the way. Once you have that free and clear, you'll move on to the rear seatbelt panel area. To get that off, you'll just pull the little tab that says airbag off and there's another seven millimeter bolt there. You will loosen that. Set that aside. And then this panel will pop down. And you can set that out of the way. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is repeat that procedure 
on the other side. Once you have the two panels off of the side of the car where the seat belts are, you're going to look for the two push pins that are in the ceiling or uh, in the headliner. And what you'll do is you know, kind of work those out and down with a panel removal tool, loosen them up, get those worked free. Once those are out, you can pull the headliner down quite a bit. And then I will show you of a different view here. Let us see this a little better. Now you have the push pins out at the back. You can get your finger in here by the door jam and pull that headliner down. And you'll see the headliner comes down quite a bit. I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing. Now that the headliner is down a bit more, you can see way back in there. That is the 10 millimeter nut that holds the shark fin antenna on. I'm going to slide in from the trunk and get my 10 mil on there, loosen that up, and that'll allow us to pull the shark fin antenna off of the car. With the 10 millimeter bolt loosened, there is a harness up here that you'll want to disconnect that you're going to reconnect the new camera into, or the new shark fin, I should say. And then once you have those harnesses loose, you should be able to pull the shark fin straight out. There you go. Now all you need to do is take the new rear view camera shark fin and line it up and drop the wires down in there. The plastic retaining nut is on the bottom side here. You will need to remove that 10 mil bolt because you will install it from the underside. Once you got that lock lined up, pop it down into place and the 10 mil will help pull that tight. Now to get this back in, I am going to use a, uh, just a standard wrench, ratcheting wrench. I don't want to use a battery powered one here because I don't want to uh, over tighten this. And once I have that tightened, and plug the harnesses back in. They are color matched. They are tabbed, so they can only go in one way. And then this additional harness will be for the video line that we're going to fish to the front. Next, we need to take the video feed cable, plug it in to the wire that's hanging down, and then we're going to run it across the headliner here and plug it in uh, near the front by where the new rear view mirror is going to go. So I'm gonna plug this in and then just route this across. This car doesn't have a sunroof, so I don't have to worry about anything in the middle getting in the way. Uh, otherwise, if you do have a sunroof, you just kinda wanna routed out to the side here to avoid any of the sunroof slides, gears, mechanics, etc. Now, once you've got the wires connected back there, you're going to focus on the overhead console here and you're going to put your 
panel removal tool up near the front here. And you're going to pop this down at each corner. Now, you don't need to get to anything here other than just a wire, a path for the wire to get to. So we're gonna route it from the back and we're gonna use this uh, section here for some better access. Now that we have that down, we need to pop the rear panel off of the mirror here. Again, we're just gonna use our panel removal tool. So we'll get that cover popped off. There is a harness here. This is because this unit has a auto dimming mirror. We are going to get this disconnected. And then to remove the mirror itself, uh, it is a quarter turn towards the driver. And it may help to use a uh, small screwdriver, some sort. There's actually some holes back here uh, that it's hard to see, but we'll use that to kind of rotate. There we go. Not easy to do. Uh, don't, it's going to feel like you're going to break the mirror, um, but it'll eventually rotate out. So there's the old mirror, get that out of here. Now that we've got the mirror off and the overhead console loosened up and, and taken down, we're going to take the wire that we ran for the video camera lead. I'm going to feed that through and fish it into this opening. Now, all I did here was use a metal grabber tool and fish that wire through. We'll pull it all the way down. And then I will pull this metal grabbing tool back out. Now that I have it here at the center console area, or the overhead console, I'm sorry, I'm going to fish it to the uh, original location that the mirror sits in. And I'm going to route it clear of the mounting arm for the mirror. Now that we have that in position, I'm going to take the Gen 5 DIY harness adapters. And this is going to allow us to convert the old style connector and give us the new style connector uh, for the new mirror. And then this side, this harness here is going to run down the A pillar and plug in underneath the passenger side footwell uh, and I'll, we'll get to that next but first I'm going to route this through the front of the headliner here And then just like we did with the video wire, we are going to fish this through the original camera hole, except I'm going to push the old camera connector back through here, pull it in here so that we can make this connection. And then fish the new style connector back down into the camera hole. So now we have our camera connector and our video connector. 
we can now put the overhead console back into place, grab our new mirror and make the connections. Once we've done that, we're gonna do that same quarter turn to get this into place. And it's we're gonna push up and turn at the same time. And that will get us our mirror in position. And once you have everything put back together on the back side of the mirror, you're gonna put the new cap on. There is a uh, guide slide, I'm not sure what you wanna call that, that goes towards the bottom. Now all we have to do is route the wire and harness down the A-pillar and plug in underneath the passenger side footwell. All right, now we're over on the passenger side. We're gonna take the wire here and we're gonna tuck it up alongside the headliner here and then around this A-pillar right here. And then we're gonna move down and we're shooting to get into this space right here. Once we make it to this spot right here, in order to get this panel off, you want the glove box open, and then you're just going to push it out towards the side of the car. Uh, if you haven't taken this panel off before, it can be very difficult to get off. Uh, sometimes having a panel tool back here helps. Um, otherwise, it's just a matter of brute force. Ta-da! Once we've made it this far, we're going to tuck this harness down into this space right here. Once you've got this wire tucked in, you can go ahead and put this panel right back on. Close the glove box and then we'll head down into the footwell. Now that we're in the passenger footwell, we're gonna take our Gen 5 DIY harness. We're gonna find the brownish tan plug back here and then unplug that, plug it in to this harness and uh, plug it back into the module there. Once we have it plugged in, we can finish tucking our wire away. And we are ready to test the camera. All right, we are in the car ready to test this out. All right, now that we have verified that it works, we can go ahead And there you have it. Your shark fin rear view mirror camera kit is installed. Uh, I will have all of the links for all the tools that I used in the description below, including the shark fin rear view mirror camera kit from Gen 5 DIY, who made all the harnesses, provided the entire kit, uh, everything that you need. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the how to series till next time till the next project. See you then.